Uh, I had a really unfortunate first kiss out at a roller skating rink when I was a kid. I met this girl named Amber, and we skated in some circles, and her mom came to pick her up, and my friend said, hey, she wants you to kiss her before she leaves. And I was like, but I don't know her. And they're like, no, you gotta do it. So I like mustered up courage as a real quiet, nerdy kid, and went up there and basically headbutted this girl with my mouth. He had a bloody lip and everything. And, you know, she broke up with me on, like, a cordless phone, and I started listening to grunge music almost immediately after that. You know, talking about, you know, Kurt Cobain, the, the year of his death, 1994, and what that year meant to me. And um, what it meant to a lot of people, and, and, like, how impactful, like, particular years are as, like, bookmarks for people's lives. It's like a lot of people can kind of copy and paste their memories over it but that's what it means to me it's just like a really significant year and uh, it was a good time to be young whether you were young or old at that time it was it's just that's what it means so this is year to be young 1994. Get that first girlfriend that got me in the boys to men. And I grew up a lot that year. My sweatshirt said no fear. And my life was a steal. And it was everything first one in line for the last dance with Mary Jane. Hiding in my headphones, laying on the bedroom floor. 19. Show's over, I'll come home. When that is, I don't know. <laughs> Teen spirit in the air, before we all on the cell phone. Study all passing notes. Yes, no, I don't care. My life was a stereo, and it was everything soundtrack. First kiss out at the roller rink. Nineteen ninety-four. 